Galactic Standard Date, Year, One One Three Five Six, Day Eighty Seven, Soul Standard Date, Three of the Thirtieth, Thirty Two Sixty Seven, One Thousand Two Hundred Fifty One Light Years from the Amaryllis. Within the High Council Chambers, the lights had been dimmed all around the main podium, while a fierce debate was raging between the High Council of the Raisin and the High Council of the Amanas. The councillors had all been up since they got the message from Rillix two days prior, and as such their patience was at its utmost limits, so they needed to come to a resolution soon. The High Council of the Razan people, then, was calling for war. You would roll upon your back and let them do what they will with you? You, who has led the Armanas for 60 years? You are weaker than I had assumed then. These Terrans may be too strong for us to realistically defeat, but that doesn't mean we should just give in to these creatures and let them have their way with all of our races. I thought you all understood that after our war with the Resary Alliance, he yelled as he swept his paw over the stands where the other councillors watched. The High Council of the Amanas, Tama, was a renowned war hero after defending a hospital from an entire Razari death squad. Tama wanted nothing more than to protect the people. You go too far, then. You have done nothing other than insult me, the other councillors, and fearmonger to go to war with an entity that you yourself admitted we cannot defeat. I would like to think that we are all calm and rational beings, despite the somewhat higher likelihood of these Terrans being hostile based on the behaviour during their message. We have received no attacks, we have received no declaration of war, nor have we even received a message demanding capitulation to their will. Perhaps the fact that they have not sent us a message at all yet means that we simply interact with a singular entity within their species that has no ties to their government. Perhaps this being was an exception and not the rule. I say we take the initiative to make a real first contact, he said, as stoic as his race was renowned for. The rest of the council started murmuring to each other in optimistic tones. Then, visibly recoiled from the loss of the crowd's favour, I thought it was time to play a card they all feared. You all saw Cain! He hasn't stopped muttering on and on about the Terrans being evil gods. Clearly the Terrans use some kind of unseen attack to break Kane's mind. How do you know they haven't already made contact with the Raziri? We must dedicate as many resources as possible to the defence of our compact, he yelled. A few councillors murmured fearful assent with then sentiments. Tom observed Ven with the patience of a long-time veteran. Ven's ears pointed down into the sides and nose twitching. He was obviously nervous as all gets out. His fear was sincere. You are not wrong, Fen. We do indeed need to prepare for more of these turns, just in case I am wrong. However, I would hope that you are not all so naive that you would allow your emotions to cloud your judgement so much that you would strike out at these gods so easily, knowing full well what they are single ship capable of, he said, his voice slowly growing louder with each word. Ven just looked at Tama and admired his white and black fur. That attitude that screams, I won't lose and the pride that Tama took with every step. Then thought to himself, Even during a crisis such as this, you are as unmoving as a great stone mountain. I will never be able to match your stoicism, but I have my own niche. The Zeni counsellor stood tall and pronounced the victor and conditions. With all the great powers vested in me, Azara, I declare Tama the victor of the debate. However, we are also going to be leaning towards more production of a new armada, as well as the conscription of forces. You have one week to slack together a delegation and to go find these Terrans to determine their true intentions. Past that, we will be issuing your death and moving to avenge you, she said with a booming voice that didn't at all fit her body. Tama looked Azara up and down, fully observing her body language to find any deceit. Her tail isn't wagging around, her ears are perked up and forward, and her eyes are soft. No deceit. Very well, Azariah. I will set out immediately, he said, as he turned and walked past Ven to head to the exit and ready a delegation. I must stop this fast before it turns into a war that will cause the deaths of trillions, he whispered to himself. <laughs>